People love a good takeaway, from Chinese to Indian, pizza to sushi, and even a little bit of Thai. I'm taking a deep dive into all things takeaway to find out the challenges, the inside information, and what it takes to run a takeaway. Are you ready to tuck in? What's the first word that comes to your mind when you think about takeaways? Chinese. Saturday night. All the rubbish that they leave behind when people eat them in the street. You know, I think takeaways are great, fast food for youngsters, but I don't like that they leave the rubbish. My name is Murat Zirekioğlu. When I came here first 1999, my father was already doing this job. So, and he always told me to not to like working in a kebab shop, you know, he said, go study, go do something else. But I always wanted to do this job. So the art community was like this. And he said, you're not doing anything else. We might as well open one kebab shop for you. And he did. And after that, it's just been going on nonstop. From the last call in the sun with the interview with a doctor, it reads that the apps makes it so easy to get food. It later says that you can have your evening meal at 6pm and still order a takeaway at midnight if you want to. The Sun later goes on to report that the World Health Organization has predicted that the UK will become Europe's fastest country by early 2030s. Yeah, we face all kind of problems, you know, but mainly we got a staff problem. And other than that, obviously, after this pandemic, all this uh, prices has gone up so much, and you know, everything like all electric and like gas and all the food and everything. So. We, we, we are not making as much as profit like we used to anymore. Why did I open this place? Because that's the only thing I knew. I didn't know anything else. As I told you, my father always told me to go study, but I just never, I, I don't think I was capable to go to school. So, and uh, it just, I just love it. I just like my business. In the future, at the moment, I can, I don't have a much goal. My goal is to, to, to spend more time with my family as much as I can and provide them whatever they need, you know, and, and that's it. I don't want another shop, another shop or bigger shop. Uh, I, I'm had enough. I don't, want, I don't want something too much like that. We discovered that the majority of people first go to their small local independent takeaways and 45% of people who took part in our poll said that their favourite takeaways are Chinese. But 6 out of 10 people say they prefer to order for delivery from a takeaway instead of going to collect. I use food delivery apps every, like every week because on a weekend to get my lunch or even throughout the week, you know, to get my lunch because I can't get to the places to get my lunch sometimes, so yeah. We don't, we are not, they, they, they even sent me a letter yesterday asking me to join their um, company, but I would never do that because our profit margin is so down anyway and amount of commission that they take is crazy, you know, it, it's like, it, it's stupid, so I don't, I don't really use Just Eat or Uber Eat, so I've got, I've got my own website and I've got some kind of bit more little company called Food Hoop, so we use that. We do more mainly deliveries because our state is a little state, so mainly we get uh, uh, deliveries, you know. You know, if you work hard, then you can make money on everything, you know, you'll just have to try. So I'm happy with my business. It's not as good as like it used to be, but still provides me everything that I need, you know. So I've got a car, I've got a nice house, and uh, what more do you want, you know? Out of the people who took part in our poll, 70% say they're most likely to order a takeaway on a Saturday. I'm usually most likely to buy a takeaway on a Saturday or a f or a Friday because they're the days which I finish college and then it's like the start of the weekend so it just works well after that. What is the best amount of fish and chips to eat? So make sure it's not only tasty but also healthy. It's a question that scientists have been looking into. To find out a bit more information, I went to go speak to someone else who works in the food industry in a quick-fire interview. What is your busier times? Uh, half eleven uh, for about half an hour and then for about half twelve till half one. What does your job include? Preparing and serving food mainly. And how many people do you, you serve per day? Oh crikey, a couple of hundred. I really don't know. Lots. I use food delivery apps like every week because on a weekend to get my lunch or even throughout the week, you know, to get my lunch because I can't get to the places to get my lunch sometimes. 